Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice square root math problem? From here, we have square root of 64 square plus 49 square plus 15 is to power 4 or divided by 2. Now, here we can write this and this will become square root of 64. We can write it as 8 square, then square. Then plus also 49, we can write it as 7 square. Then we have square there. Then plus here 15, we can separate it as 8 plus 7, which is close bracket raised to power 4 here. Then divided by 2. Then from here, we can. You know, simplify this from the law of indices. This power multiplies, and we have square root of here become 8 raised to power 4, then plus 7 raised to power 4, then plus here we still have 8 plus 7, all raised to power 4. Then here we have divided by 2. Then from here we can see we have. Let's use a letter now to represent 8 and 7. So let x be equals to 8 and uh, y be equals to 7. So now when we write this in terms of x and y, so we have square root of x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4, then plus x plus y. All is to power 4, then divided by 2. Then here we can expand this, and uh, from Pascal triangle, we have the power of 4. The coefficient when we have we have, we have 1, then 1, 1 for power of 1, 1, 2, 1, power of 2, 1, 3, 3, 1, power of 3, then 1, 4, 6, 4, 1. That is the power of 4. So we have 1, 4, 6, 4, 1 for the coefficient of this expansion here. Then that means this will be square root of, we have x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4. Then plus the expansion here we have x raised to power 4. Then plus we have 4x raised to power 3 y. Then plus 6x square y square. Then plus 4xy cube now. Then plus y raised to power 4. So this here is the expansion of this you know, bracket from here to here. Then all divided by 2 now. Then when we look at this, we have power of 4, x raised to power 4, 2 of it, so that's 2x raised to power 4. Also y raised to power 4, that's 2 now, that's 2y raised to power 4. So now, when we write this, this gives us square root of 2x raised to power 4, then plus 2y raised to power 4, then plus, now let's write 6x square, y square. First, then plus 4x cube y now, then plus 4xy cube now, divided by 2 from here. Then in the next step, we can also break this down and uh, we factor 2 out from here. 2 is common here, so we have square root of 2 into bracket. We have x raised to power 4 left here, then plus y raised to power 4, plus here will be 3x square y square, then plus here is 2x cube y now, then plus 2x y cube close brackets here then divided by 2 and from here this 2 now can cancel this 2 then we 
have what is left here we have the square root of x raised to power 4 plus y raised to power 4 plus here let's break this 3x square y square as 2 x square y square plus x square y square so it still give us 3x square y square then here plus 2 x y common then what is left here is you know x square and then plus y square will be left here we close bracket then from here again we have everything from here to here we can rewrite it and that will be x square plus y square all square so now this and I'll be written as square root of we have x square plus y square all square then plus here we can write it as x y then all square then plus 2x y into bracket x square plus y square now from here let's make a substitution again and uh, we let a letter be x square plus y square and also a letter be x y so here let's say let x square plus y square be equals to a and here x y be equals to b then we can write this now and this will be square root of a square plus b square plus 2ab now then from here we can also write this shortly as square root of into bracket a plus b or square then this square cancel the square root here and then we have this as a plus b where a is x square plus y square so we have this is now x square plus y square that's a then plus b which is x y then recall from the beginning we said let x be equals to 8 and then y be equals to 7 when we substitute here so this becomes 8 square plus 7 square plus 8 times 7 then we have 8 square here that's 64 plus 7 square that's 49 then plus 8 times 7 that's 56 from here then when we add this together we have the sum of this to be 169 so here we have the solution to this problem thank you for watching don't forget these steps subscribe for more exciting videos give a thumbs up share this video and put your comment in the comment section see you in the next class then bye for now